Um, I don't really want to share this because I feel like it's going to get patched out. But essentially what I'm going to show you is some, uh, I guess what could be considered exploits that pretty much has always worked for missiles. But um, I didn't know it would work for other weapons. So here's the artillery uh, cannon. And I guess the projectile spawns a little bit further up in this block in front of it, not directly in front of the barrel or inside the barrel even though the graphics typically render that way. But I'm just going to do a quick test fire here. And then we'll get out our welder. And as you can see, it is perfectly fine. Now, that seems a little bit fair. But this is where it gets interesting, because that is clearly thicker than a steel plate. And if we just give that a try here, this as well is also 100% protected. And then if we grab this guy, it is slightly thicker in the center. So let's see what this does. Uh, this is also 100% protected. That one I am actually genuinely surprised. Let's try something a little bit more ambitious, though. Where is the block? Am I on the right? No, I'm not. Um, actually, actually, I'm curious to know if it'll work in that orientation, too. Alright, let's give this a go. I... I don't, I highly doubt this is going to go through, but let's see what happens here. Okay, yeah, so something definitely got hit just then. Let's wait just a sec. Let's see if it actually shoots outwards. I'll go in third person and... Okay, yeah, so it's definitely hitting... The block and disintegrating, I guess, because it's spawning inside the block. Um, maybe. Let's see about this. Let's see if it can go through that. Because, I mean, that is like directly in the center. Wow, that is crazy. All right, so. Here's something else I want to try then. If that is possible, what if we just put, let's say, there. Now that thing is 100% covered up. There's like absolutely no way uh, that that thing should be able to get through. Because, I mean, sights are completely full. Um... So it doesn't look like it took damage, but I don't think it actually penetrated. I think it just disintegrated. Oh, man. So that doesn't work, but for some reason, no damage. It doesn't make any sense. It's like a special way of... I don't know... Damage prevention slash hacking. Um, but this by far is absolutely the most cheaty. The most cheaty possible way of doing this. Because it just goes right on through. Or does it? Am I imagining things? Oh, yeah, yeah, it totally goes through. Let's see if it works with um, heavy armor, though. Not that, this. Let's see if heavy armor makes, like, any difference. I, I mean, again, I doubt it. It does seem, though, that there is, like, a small chance that it won't go through. After this, I'm going to try the, uh, the uh, missile and see if the missile will go through. Because the missiles spawn directly in front of the uh, 
doodah. Let's put our little block back. It spawns directly in front. It's not like inside of the missile weapon housing itself. All right. Oh, of course. Got to set this up again. And I'll have that set to shoot. Man, that's crazy. All right. So we know that works at least most of the time. But I want to see if a missile launcher can also go through a slanted slab. The reason that this is so cheaty is because, like, if you're trying to take out somebody's weapons, uh, you wouldn't know that that thing is there, you know? It would just look like... It's not, it's not even really cheaty, but it's cheaty in the sense that it's armored completely. It's not like, oh, you put a passageway around it, Oh, you built some kind of corridor or something like around a uh, thruster housing or something. It's just straight up. It's blocked in, but it's working. But let's see what happens if I do this. Because something tells me this might go differently with a missile launcher. And we'll just set that to shoot once. And... Wow. Wow, why even use windows when you can put heavy armor slanted blocks in front of your weapons? I almost don't even want to share this because I feel like the devs are going to see it and then they're going to fix it. Wow. Maybe it's different on a moving ship? I don't know. This is a uh, prototype ship I'm working on. This is just a hydrogen tanker. I've already blueprinted it. I'm still working on it. It's one of those types of things where it's just like, don't really know where I want to go with it, you know. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time.